What's happening everybody? Back out on the range with the old Rock Island 10 millimeter. Yes, we are clear, empty. I'm on this range by myself. I did put the black screws back in. I did not like those stainless steel look, so I like the orange and black look. Anyway, it's kind of a follow up with the other video I did with this pistol, all the different problems I had, um, the feeding problems, the jamming problems. It was like a jam-o-matic. Anyway, I've now put about a hundred rounds through it today and I have lubed the, well, I have lubed the rails pretty good. Um, I say pretty good. I've freaking drowned them. Anyway, so I shot some PPU, uh, FMJs, 180 grain. Um, for whatever reason, my nine round mags, then the last round, it doesn't like it for whatever reason, but when I load them full of eight rounds, it works just fine. So I don't know why loading them with nine, it's jam-o-matic when I just load it up with eight, it works fine. I don't, I don't understand. That's with um, factory mag, that which only holds eight, and then my Ed Brown mags really nice mags but I can only put eight in them and then I just recently got um, some Wilson combat mags so we're gonna be trying some of those out so today we are going to be trying some 10 millimeter HAP Hornady whatever hap rounds these are the 200 grain Let's see if it'll focus focus there we go 200 grain haps right here. I've got the Wilson Combat loaded with five just to see how that works. So I've got that loaded up with some blue dot. I loaded up some 180 XTP. These are the 180 XTPs. Five of those in a Wilson Combat mag. Those are loaded up with some blue dot. And then I'm trying some 180 XTP again in the factory mag. But instead of with blue dot, I'm using some long shot. So let's do this. Let's start out with the 180 grain with long shot XTP out of the factory mag. And I'm going to be going at that um, shooting tree. And from the line I'm going to be shooting from is seven yards. Again, I'm not a marksman. I'm just out here having fun shooting my pistol. So be nice on the accuracy. I'm just an average Joe. I'm not a competitor. All right, let's get going. The 180 grain XTP with uh, some long shot. Let's see, are we in the? Okay. Spun them both around. Oh! Already got a jam or a failure to fire. I had a primer strike. You can see that. I did have a primer strike on that one, so that sucks. So let's go ahead and go again. We in frame, sort of. And I can't count. We're already out of those. Empty. Okay, so that 180 XTP, a good primer strike. You know what I want to do? I want to load that thing up again. Let's give it a try. And it fired that time. Why it fired that time, not the time before, I don't know. Okay, we are empty. 10 millimeter, 7 yards, spins that tree around. That's hilarious. That was the 180 XTP long shot. So let's go to the 180 XTP with some blue dot. Well, that's a 7 yard line back here. I'm at, I guess, 10 yards. Let's just shoot at 10 yards. And miss some more. Yeah, 
I spun it around. That felt nicer shooting. Felt more powerful, but it felt smoother. Does that make sense? I don't know. Felt more powerful, but it felt smoother. Uh, more pop. Faster, I guess, if you will. Uh, and they're about the same power levels. The, um, the amount of powder that I used, I did them at about the same power level in terms of velocity. So blue dot felt better than long shot. Okay. So now we're going to go to the 200 grain blue dot. And these are the 200 grain HAP, HAPs loaded with blue dot. I'll stay back here at 10 yards and just miss some more. That spins them both around. Ah! Yeah, I know. I flinched like a big dog. Why'd that one not? Well, I didn't even do anything. There's no primer strike or nothing. The hammer didn't even work. Set this down real quick. I'm going to load this back up. We got three because I didn't count. And there we go. We are empty, unloaded. There's no magazine in there. Okay, so what did I... Now let's just keep it over here. What did I think of the Rock Island? This is now my third time out with it. I'm going to turn it this way. See if you can even see how wet. Get it in the sunlight. You can see how wet it is. Extremely wet. It's very, very lubed. My thought is the feed ramp is too straight up and down. I wish the feed ramp had more slope on it. So I might have to get some work on that. Next is it's still still problematic. I'm still having problems with this thing. It's not it's not flawless by any means whatsoever uh, with different ammunition. It just it isn't. I don't know what the deal is. My new Wilson Combat mags. Love to have them. Along with my Ed Brown mags. Um, out of shooting those groups, the 180 XTP with blue dot um, felt the best, I'll say that. Uh, other than that, yeah, this is now the third time out with this pistol. It's still problematic. And uh, I don't know. Tell me in the comments what y'all think.